Hello and welcome to another video in Professional Charts and Dashboard series. In this video, we will briefly understand the basics of tree map chart, such as what is tree map chart, how to read the tree map chart, for what kind of data set this chart is preferable, what are the limitations of this chart, and where we should not use this chart. Once we have this basic clarity, I will be then showing you the steps to create this chart inside an Excel in next video. Remember that this chart is available only in Excel 2016 onwards versions of Excel. Prior versions do not have this chart inbuilt and also I am not aware of any other workaround in Excel to create this chart. So with that, let us quickly understand the basic fundamentals of tree map chart. Now what is tree map chart? Tree map functions as a visualization composed of a nested rectangles. These rectangles represent certain categories within a selected dimensions and are ordered in a hierarchy or a tree. In other words, the space in visualization is split into rectangles that are sized and ordered to indicate a hierarchy. In this tree map, each individual rectangle on a level in the hierarchy represents a category in a column. Now let us understand how to read this tree map chart. Now tree map provide an accessible way for viewers to interpret the data briefly. Following are the few things you need to keep in mind while reading this chart. The first one is sorting of each rectangles. Second is size of the rectangles and third is color of the rectangles. The rectangles in tree map are sorted by size, starting with the largest in the top left corner, progressing down to the smallest in the bottom right. For a deeper analysis, these rectangles or boxes can be nested when you have a multiple hierarchy to be shown. When multiple hierarchical levels are displayed, this sorting order is repeated for each of the nested rectangles as well, starting from top left hand corner to the bottom right. For example, a box within office expenses data set might display percentage spent on a furniture. A box nested within that box might display percentage spent on the desk. Now there are several different algorithms which can be used to determine how the rectangles in a tree map should be sized and ordered. Excel uses the squarified algorithm which attempts to render each rectangle as much like a square as the data and overall layout will allow. It is important to note that the size of each rectangle is determined by the data itself. And a tree map cannot be used to show zero or negative value data points. So now imagine that you have a single box of a total headcount shown like on the screen. Now we can add a first level of hierarchy with regards to the headcount for each of the department which may be reflected by a separate color for each department and rectangle size based on the department headcount just like shown on the screen. Now further we can break the individual rectangles for each of the department basis of the headcount for various types of employment of the employees in that department. Portion of the each department will be allocated on the basis of headcount for each employment type. Just like shown on the screen now. Now you can go on adding more details. However, it will become crowdy and might lose its importance or won't provide any value to the users. So ideally only up to two levels this tree map is useful. So with that, I hope it is now clear to you how to read this tree map visuals. Now next is what kind of data set this chart is preferable. Tree maps can be suitable in a number of situations depending on your data, your available space, the relationship you need to explore or emphasize with regards to your visuals. Now few of the scenarios could be you want to visualize a part to whole relationship among large number of categories. While a pie chart might be a best work with the three or fewer segments, a tree map can work with many of the segments. Patterns in the data sets are easier to see, making a tree maps a good choice over a pie chart to use at the exploration stage of the analysis. Second is, you don't require any precise comparisons between categories. Tree maps provide an excellent high level overview of categories and subcategories that appear similar or different. 
efficient use of color will aid these comparisons. Obviously, you may lose some precision due to the number of rectangles, the reliance on comparing values by area and loss of legible labels. But in the exploratory phase of your analysis, that might be a worthwhile trade-off. Now, third one is you have a data in hierarchical labels. Now, you would be hard pressed to find a more elegant or efficient way to visualize your data at multiple hierarchical levels than tree map. That does stand to a reasons as the need to accomplish such task with impetus for creation is in the first place. And finally, you need to prioritize the efficient use of space which you available in your dashboard. The ability to display thousands of items within a small amount of screen real estate is a benefit of the tree map. The only limitations is the number of rectangles that can be legibly labeled. Finally, it is time to understand what are the limitations of this chart and where we should not be using this chart in the data set. Now, when you want to create a accurate size comparisons at higher resolutions, then you should not be using this chart. Size distortion can happen when you need to show a greater number of pixels where you can only optimize for size comparison at one level of hierarchy at a time. Then when chart needs to be imprint, interpreted in print and cannot be made interactive, do not use tree maps to compare and represent hierarchical data in print unless you have a very few data points. Otherwise, labels can quickly disappear or become unreadable. It can be an overwhelming process to read this data. While the ability to visualize thousands of items across multiple hierarchical levels is supporting point of tree maps, this sheer quantity of information can be overwhelming to audiences. If majority of your rectangles are not labeled or the different levels of hierarchy are not differentiable, then consider a different way to visualize the data. They can only be used on the data set in which every value is greater than zero. The value of sizing of the rectangle cannot have a negative value. This limits the potential use cases. You cannot visualize profit and loss, for example. Tree map charts are good for comparing proportions within the hierarchy. However, tree map charts aren't great at showing hierarchical levels between the largest categories and each data point. A sunburst chart is much better visual chart for showing that which we will be seeing in next few videos. Now, some of these challenges become apparent when we ask more nuanced questions on our sample data set. So that is it for the introduction to tree map. In next video, we'll be using a sample data set and see the steps to create this chart inside an Excel. So see you guys in next video.